Hey everyone, have you checked my latest Twitter post? If no, you should check it. Anyway, I am starting a simple logo animation tutorial season. And we are going to use only one or two inbuilt plugins and effects to animate our logo. So, anyone without having any knowledge of After Effects can animate his logo. And the good news is, you are going to see two tutorials per week. Friday and Tuesday. I am also going to share project files, fonts, and sound effects. Subscribe me, so you won't miss any tutorial. If you want to request any kind of tutorial, please post it in the comments. And I'll try to create it as simple as possible. So today, we are going to make this. So let's get started, open After Effects and click here to create a new composition. And using 1920 by 1080 frame size. Hit OK. Now right click here and create a new solid. Let's call it background. You can make it in any color you want. Now go to the effects tab, and search for the gradient ramp. Drag and drop this effect onto your background layer. Now, change ramp shape to the radial ramp. On the middle top, you will see this anchor point. Drag it to the center, and it will create this kind of spot. Now, click on swap color button, to swap the color. On the bottom of the frame, you will find another anchor point. Select this anchor point and drag this way out. The far it will be, the light gradient you have. Drag this out until you found the light background, as I have. Now, create your text. I am using text for this tutorial, but you can add your logo too. Simply replace this step with your logo, and do the same. Press V to take the move tool, so you can move your text or logo. And make sure to align it to the center. I am changing its color to something red pink. You are free to choose your own color. Now, let's create a new solid of the same color of this text. Simply use this picker tool and click on your text. Let's call this wipe, because we are going to wipe our text by using this layer. This layer is having only a flat single color, let's add a gradient to this layer as well. If you drag this anchor point like this, you can change the angle and amount of your gradient. Change start color to red, similar to the text color. And change end color to the dark pink red shade color. Let's change start color to pink shade as well. Now select your Y player and press S to open scale. Change the amount to 250% to make it huge size. Again select your layer and press R to open rotation. And change the angle to 45 degrees. If you zoom out your project window, you will see our layer size and angle exactly. We are going to animate this layer like coming from top to end. Move it to the top. Now select this layer once again, and press P to open position. Now go to around 1 seconds. And click on this stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Then, go to around 3 seconds, and drag your layer to the bottom. So it will cover all your screen. Your animation will look like this. Let's add a motion blur effect to this layer, to make it look more natural. If you don't see this switch tab here, right click here and in the column section, select switches. Click on the first box to add a motion blur. But it won't blur out the motion, because you have to activate for the bottom layers by clicking on this big icon here. 
Now you have the motion blur activated. Let's jump on to the next step. Select your wipe and text layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Drag your layers to the top of all. Now, we are going to mask out the text. Right click here, and in the column section select modes. Your track matte tab will appear. Click on this arrow, and select alpha matte for your text layer. Make sure your layer sequence is same as mine. On this top text, change its color to white. And your intro is ready. You can go with it, or add some little details to it. I am going to start this animation with text zooms out here. Select your text and press S to open scale. Go to around half second. And add a keyframe on the scale. Now go to the beginning of this animation, and change the scale size to very high. Your text must go away from the first frame screen. Add a motion blur effect on this layer as well. Let's add a zoom out effect to the scene, to add some camera feel to it. Create a null object. I am calling it scale. Go to the first frame and press S to open scale. Put this layer above all layers. And add a keyframe. Now go to around 5 seconds. And change scale size to 85. Now we are going to parent all our layers to this null, so we don't have to add keyframes on individual layers. If you don't see your parent tab here, right click and choose parent in the column. Now click on this none, and select scale. Do the same with all layers to parent with scale. Perfect. Now our scene is moving. Let's make our keyframe to easy ease to smooth out the animation. Select all your keyframe and press F9 on your keyboard. Cool. I want my animation to play only for 6 seconds. If you press N on your keyboard, your composition playback time will trim here. This looks fine. But at this point, my white text isn't visible properly. Select layer, and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes and press F9 again. Perfect. Now the timing has matched. In case your wipe animation looks slow, you can select these end keyframes, and drag them to the starting keyframes. And it will increase the speed of your wipe animation. Now, let's add a film black bar to the video. Create a new solid with black color. Add this above all layers, now select rectangle mask tool from here, and start dragging your mask like this. In the mask section, change add to subtract. Now the final step, this time I am going to add a texture to it. Add this texture file, you can download this from the link in the description. Add this into your project and put it behind the frame layer. In the mode section, change normal to subtract. It will look like this. Now press T, to open opacity, and change the amount to 30%.
Let's parent my background with the scale as well, so it will scale with my entire comp. Ram preview this and you will see your animation. Perfect. Let's turn down the opacity to 15%. So, your animation is complete. Hope you like it. In the next tutorial, we will be creating this. Some people call it glossy effect, and some, logo shine effect. Let me know what you call it. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.